Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing the what sold video for this past weekend which was April 5th through the 7th and it's just being consistent and I can't complain about that. My sales are right where I want them to be, no better, no worse. Um, so I'm just hoping to keep plodding along. I'm still doing my 25 a day. Um, just still going through just small bags and totes and it's just amazing some of the stuff that I'm finding that I had totally forgotten about you know just you know a little small toy and when I look up comps it's $25 and I'm like dang and how long has it been sitting here so I'm just still doing that today I've been today I've been doing some Christmas stuff and some appliances those are the things that I tend, especially the appliances, I tend to just put off and put off and put off. So today is what I've been working on. All right. I don't think I have anything else to say. Robert's leaving tomorrow. This video is being way ahead of schedule so that he can get it um, worked on. We're hoping while he's visiting with his mom to get a video out for our picking channel. But y'all, life's a little bit up in the air for us right now so you know we're trying to at least continue to get these videos out for you and the pick and channel just might have to um wait a little bit um because we figure robert's going to be going back and forth every couple of weeks so just you know be, to be there for his mom so we're just doing the best we can y'all doing the best we can all right but some prayers for robert while he travels tomorrow and of course continued continued prayers for his mom we really appreciate it let's get to it i had three cells on posh still nothing on mercari since the middle of march nothing 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 and y'all i've been going in and i've been sending out those offers now i'm not doing the offers that like takes your price down not going to do that but i am sending out the offers to likers nothing and that has been my uh the, the norm for me for all these years that I've been doing Mercari I can't tell you if I've ever sold anything by seeing, sending an offer to Liker I don't think so don't think so I, I'm I'm done I'm not taking my listings down but I'm not putting any effort into that platform um, I'll focus on Poshmark and I am doing some more with Etsy again because I just like having more than two you know at least two but I prefer to have more than two platforms that I'm selling on at this point so all right first thing on Poshmark this Mattel Kamigami Scarix robot I want to say I had four of these these were a retail arbitrage thing that we picked up to send into Amazon and then we decided not to send them into Amazon when we were selling on Amazon and they've just taken a while to sell. Um, I think I have one left. Um, but this little robot thingy sold for $12. Baby Boyd Yellow Duck Plush sold for $15. And then this J Stuff Gray Stripe Cat Backpack sold for $49. And I think that's my big sale for the weekend was on Poshmark. So yay, yay, yay. But on eBay, it was a lot of bread and butter. Tons and tons of bread and butter. All right, first thing for eBay is this Commonwealth Nick and Noel Cat Plush from 1992 sold for $16. Now, if you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. So when I say something sold for $16, the buyer also paid shipping. All right, American Eagle Women's Jeans sold for $16. Lots of clothes. This, y'all cleaning off these piles. I had a whole stack and I just found another stack of them. So I'm going to have to deal with them. But I found a whole stack of just CDs that we've accumulated here, there, and everywhere. I'm making myself list these. First and foremost, I paid for them. Second of all, 
you know, there's some money in them. I, you know me, I don't pay a whole lot for um, the items that we source. Um, you know, it's if it's worth something, I'm going to go ahead and list it. Um, and believe me, I am listing tons and tons right now. And you know what? Come fourth quarter, I'm going to be hopefully making tons and tons of sales of this type of stuff. So I'm okay with that. But this Act Like You Know Me, oh, Act Like You Know by MC Light sold for $5.36. American Eagle Women's Shorts, $8. Now these have been, I just listed them. Robert processed them a couple of weeks ago. And it was like a whole bunch of shorts that had all been sourced at the same time. I think they were all size six. So it was all from one yard sale and they are selling $8. And y'all, you look at them. They're distressed slash destroyed, um, but they're still very popular. Dakin Wool Rabbit Ornament, four inches, sold for $8. Now, these have been listed forever. I'm telling you, eventually everything sells. Eventually, um, these are some replacement barrels that went to a Sesame Street play set. It was like a track that um, a vehicle went around, a motorized type vehicle. Um, sold for $8.05 for three little plastic drums. White Persian Cat Plush. I think I showed this recently in a haul video. Probably came from the bins. And it sold in less than a month for $17.95. Mary Meyer Rabbit Lovey. Bread and butter. Bread and butter. $9.86. I had a tote of pieces and parts to Geotrax. I think there was some rescue, rescue hero stuff in there also emptied it out. That's been my thing. It, if it's trash, it's going in the trash. Otherwise, just get it listed. These were Geotrax Aero Plane Remote Control Train. Um, as you can see in there, I put the big word read. And then in the comments, you know, there were some discoloration. I think the remote turned on, the train turned on, but the remote didn't make the train move. It still sold in less than a week for $20.66. Bread and butter. Hallmark Koala Bear Plush. I need to stay away from a lot of the, the Hallmark Plush. They just, other than like the Rodney Reindeers and stuff and that whole series, most of these others just probably aren't um, worth the pickup. This has been listed since October, so not too bad. I went ahead and took a $5 offer. All right, Jelly Cat Amusables. I found a couple of these when we went to the bins. I still think there's more that we haven't gotten to yet. I've listed this broccoli. I just sold the corn on the cob. And I could have swore there were two or three more the day that I picked all these up. Um, but the broccoli sold for $16.16. .16. Torrid Women's Shorts sold for $15. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Tanya. Tanya picked up this Adriana Papel Women's Lace Dress for $18.37. Thanks again, Tanya. Onk, Onk Casuals Jacket sold for $15.01. Just listed it. Magic Bullet. You know, I see these all the times at yard sales. I'm not quite, I think this was a Robert pickup. A lot of times you can get these for a dollar. This thing sold in like two days um, for $13.45. It's one of the little personal blenders. It had just the one little cover thing on it. Um, very quick sell. So, you know, if you see them at yard sales, might be something to check into. Definitely check the comps though. All right, this came out of just all of these totes. I had a little bag that I just started throwing all of these combs and brushes in. You know, some of them are Barbie. Some of them are My Little Pony. Some of them could be other things. Don't know. There's actually a Facebook group, you know, that you can go to 
that's just to help identify like combs and brushes and stuff. There's a Facebook group for almost anything, I think. Um, but um, listed these just in March and they already sold on a best offer for $10. So, you know, if, if they come in stuff, then I, I think I'll just start getting a little baggy and keep them together and then do lots like this. Roblox Piggy 3 figures. I had to use Google Lens. Google Lens had no idea who they were. Come to find out they're from the same series. Listed them just this month also. Man, y'all, I have done so well with just listing all of these smalls. Tons and tons. Um, but these two sold for $8.96. This is a Kenner Strawberry Shortcake apricot doll outfit it got set aside because it had stains but I just thought you know what it had been washed the stains weren't coming out um, I went ahead and listed it and it sold in like two months for eight dollars somebody else who maybe knows how to better treat these stains hopefully can get it you know or it's gonna sit on a, a shelf on the original doll and the stain was in the back and they're not gonna really care he-Man, Night Stalker, Masters of the Universe, um, this horse, it was incomplete, sold for $10.95. How to Train Your Dragon. I picked up quite a few DVDs um, this past summer at a yard sale. It was a lot of kids stuff. I want to say they were like a quarter each or something ridiculous like that um, and there were lots of sets so I had picked up quite a few I've still got a tote upstairs that I need to deal with um, but these three DVDs sold for nine dollars I picked this up at my favorite little estate sale company um, listed it back last summer it is a ceramic outhouse by uh, Transfar International and it sold for $11.84. I think I paid two or three dollars for it. It was a whole box of outhouses so it may have been a bulk. So, right, this was one of those things that set in, sat in my profit pile because that little hat was just a little dusty dirty. I didn't have a box um, but you know what? Obviously, the person who bought this doesn't really care because it sold very quickly also um, for $8.96. Dim Daco, which is Nat and Jules. This was a hand puppet lot. I think I had like the bingo dog listed by himself and then I found these other two, um, these last couple of trips to the bins. Decided to go ahead and add the two with the bingo dog because it doesn't do very well by itself and y'all look the three of them sold for $31.45 Peppa Pig bus um, last summer I went to a yard sale she had a large like card table with lots and lots of Peppa Pig sets on there I think I paid 20 or $25 for everything on the table it's been selling pieces and parts I think I still have some of the like buildings and stuff like that. Um, and I think just recently I listed like the last of all of the figures. Um, so I, it was a really good pickup, but it just seemed they are, they are uh, slow moving as far as sales. Um, but just this bus and the two figures sold for $17.50. Lee Platinum Women's Gray Jeans sold for $11.41. They've been listed a while, so I was glad to see them gone. Kelly Toy 25-inch stuffed animal pig sold for $16.16. .16. Bubble Guppies. I showed this recently in a haul. We went to a kids' consignment sale. I want to say I paid $12 for a gallon bag packed with these. I, I ended up making, I want to say, five lots of these little figures and then there was actually one of the really really hard to find play sets in there it was like a a plane or something I want to say I listed it for 
50 or 60 plus dollars just for that little play set. Um, and then these little five figures sold for $17.05. Magazines, y'all. Probably three years ago, I went to a yard sale, bought three huge totes of vintage car magazines. This was one of the series called Truckin' Magazines. I divided this sat for three years. I made myself do these. Um, but these were from 1978. I divided them up by decades for the most part until I got to some that were just more spread out. And so I might have done five or ten or something like that together. Um, but the I've already sold several sets. Um, but this lot of ten sold for $42.70. Born, loved, Princess Lovey. I pick up tons of loveys. Most of them are bread and butter. This one sold for $13.45. Well, I went to a, an estate sale recently. I bought two motorcycles, these small. One was this red plastic one, and one was a Department 56 motorcycle piece. Both of them are on here. They sold instantly. This little friction one by MD, MB1 sold for $21.33. I want to say I paid five or six dollars for the two of them. I don't even know if you guys have seen this video yet, um, but I picked these up at, I want to say, an estate sale. I paid three or four dollars for a bag of toys. In there were these slide puzzles. They were Flash Gordon, Nerds, and Pink Panther. And I already have sold this Flash Gordon one for $12. Gingerbread Bear plush from Bath, no, Body Works. Yeah, Bath and Body Works. Not a brand I'm going to continue to pick up. It was cute. It caught my attention. But I'm in the Just Say No to Bears unless they're my favorite little brands. Um, and then not very many things from Bath and Body Works as far as plush sell very well. But I'm glad to see it gone. $8.05. Now, this was in a Barbie tote, but it was WWE, WWF, you know, wrestling figures, prop, toy. It was a little camera. Listed it, you know, Google Lens, y'all. It helped me so much. Um, that's how I figured out what this was, and it sold in less than a month for $8. Robert picked these up. I don't remember how much he paid for them, but he, he picked up a lot of hats. Some of them were Arby's. Some of them were Chick-fil-A. There might have been another one. We have done so well with the Arby's ones. It's been crazy. But this one hat sold for $15.26. Bantam. That's a very vintage brand. I don't find it very often, but I love to pick it up. This was just a cute little pink dog. Um, 13 inch, made in the USA. It took a while, took a really long time to sell. Got to find that right buyer for it. $24.26. Another American Eagle women's jeans. These sold for $12. Now, I don't normally keep these My Little Pony figures, but they were in a tote along with a bunch of other things. Normally, I just throw them in my donate bag, but I, I think it was a couple of months ago, I listed some more of these just contemporary My Little Pony figures, and they sold immediately, so I found another bag of them, um, threw in a couple of, like, brushes. I think they might even be from McDonald's Toys, the brushes, um, and they sold again immediately. I don't know why. They sold for $18.95. They sold right after I listed them. Um, and then this screen, for some reason, when I pop them up, it puts my current price on it if it was currently listed right now. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. But they sold for $18.95. So I'm definitely going to, especially when I'm at the bins, pick up, you know, most things My Little Pony. 
Now, this is one of the Blankets and Beyond lovies to be on the lookout for. There's a whole series of these, but mostly they've just got this little, you know, fabric-y, fluffy, flat, lovey center. And then it's got this, like, satin ring edge around it. And they're different colors. Every time I find them, I've done really, really well with them. And this one sold for $29.96. Zangine. There's a Z on the tag. This is a tropical bird. Usually I put them in lots. I must have ran out and this has just been sitting by itself. Sold for $8.05. Six Flags. This is a vintage dachshund dog plush. Sold for $12. Little Beginnings. It's a little plush like unicorn with a lovey. And it sold for $8.96. I find I see these quite often. I pick them up if I'm going to get them for like a quarter or 50 cents. Um, but for the most part, they are bread and butter. A couple of years ago, I went to the 100 Mile Yard Sale in Withful, Virginia. And this person had a case of this cup and saucer. They are by Buffalo, China. They are restaurant wear and they were five dollars for all of it all of it and slowly but surely i want to say there was like 30 and now i'm down to 19 but it's it's years but it's just a small box and another box so it's not taking up a whole lot of space and i'm selling them pretty you know consistently for seven eight dollars nine dollars sometimes so definitely a long tail item but you know i don't mind picking up stuff like this. This set sold for $7.89. Carhartt men's jeans got an offer for $15.58, which I accepted. And here's the Department 56 motorcycles. Sold this one very quickly, also $13.45. I'm pretty sure it was the same day I listed them. I listed them in the morning and they sold by the evening. M&M plush picked up a bunch at the high bid estate sale, but y'all, they've, they've taken a while. It, I listed a whole bunch in the beginning, and then I had a tote of them that sat here for a while, and I just finished listing them also, but this is one of the older ones. Finally sold for $10. They used to be very popular, not so much anymore. Now, I found a bag of pantyhose. There were three of one kind and then these three that I split up. I've already sold the first three for, I want to say like 20 bucks, but these three just weren't as popular and um, still only took a month to sell. Um, but these no nonsense sheer endurance pantyhose, $8 and 87 cents. Manhattan toys love the brand. They just don't really do very well. Um, this, Pirate Boy sold for $9.86. Carters, y'all. I sold both of these Carters within a few days of each other. This is definitely one to keep your eyes out for. It's a little Buffalo Navy Blue from 2022. And this one sold for $19.76. I thought I sold all of these. In fact, I got an offer on this one. And I'm like, Robert, I think I sold all these. He went and looked just to make sure. And I hadn't. I guess, I think maybe this is the last one, but I picked up a whole bunch of Hard Rock Cafe t-shirts um, at a church sale for a dollar. All of them were like 2XL. And one buyer bought, has been buying all of the other ones. Um, he would buy like two or three at a time over the month. And he bought all of them. I thought this isn't the same buyer. This one sold, it was Phoenix, and it sold for $20. Ariat Girls Boots. We don't normally pick up kids' shoes. Um, I didn't even bother to clean these up, y'all. They needed a good coating of polish. I didn't do it. So it did take a while to sell, little about a year. And they sold for $13.74. I'm just... 
I don't like listing shoes, y'all, and I definitely don't like cleaning them. Is there something, you know, it's just, I don't like it. Anything like that for you guys? You know, I don't mind cleaning plush. I don't mind cleaning appliances. I take a while to do it, but I don't mind them. But shoes, I just don't like. And I've got a huge tote right here of shoes. I just, I, I, my new rule this summer, don't buy it if it's not already clean or just needs minimal cleaning. Y'all, again, I found a box of just hodgepodge dollhouse stuff. So I ended up dividing it into, I think one was like living room, bathroom, and then this one was like all kids stuff. Um, and it sold almost instantly, $17.95. This is Loving Family Fisher Price. It was just a whole bunch of like nursery and kids furniture. Great American Fun. I like the vintage stuff of this. You know, I think they're, it's kind of like Nanco and Sugarloaf. The newer stuff is just kind of blah, blah. But every once in a while, I find something that's vintagey that I, I like and come to find out it's Great American Fun. But this was a cute little dog, made some snoring sounds, had a little dog, a bone attached to it. Sold for $15.71. Berkeley Designs. I have found that brand just a couple of times. Not It must be like a specialty store somewhere, and I don't find it very often, um, and it doesn't sell for a whole lot. Um, bread and butter stuff, but it was just a little white bear, $8. Abercrombie & Fitch Women's Shorty Shorts, size 2, sold for $8.46. And this We Sing, I found a box, again, from my shelves, of kids' tapes. Um, that's the one where I found the Raffi, which sold instantly, and I had some others. These We Sings I put together in this lot, and they sold for $8.50. And then the last thing I wanted to share was this, because there's a recall. Um, not on this one, but I've, in the next screen I'm going to show you. This is Fisher Price Little People. There's a Daisy Duck and a Donald Duck. Mine was from 2014. Um, the recall is on a more current one. So my Daisy Duck sold for $5.36, but here's the recalled one. So if you see this at yard sales, um, don't buy it at the bins. Um, just don't buy it because it has been recalled and eBay will probably take it down immediately. But if you notice, their hands are out. Their hands are out where my my Daisy had um, her hands in front of her or on her side. So just be aware that this it it came I guess in this set down here, but only the Donald and the Daisy have been recalled. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, bread and butter, bread and butter, still paying my bills. Um, and now I'm gonna just keep plodding along. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.